Hey, this is John. Thanks for checking out the video. Before we get started, do us a quick favor and like the video and subscribe down below. And ring the bell. If we can get to a thousand subscribers, we can monetize this channel and help pay for some free one-on-one -on -one lessons with beginners and get them into some affordable instruments. If you'd like to hear more about that program, check out the Patreon link down below. Thanks for watching. In this video, I'm gonna run you through a couple things real quick. We're gonna talk about some accessories that are good to have when you're first starting playing electric guitar. We're gonna discuss the different parts of the electric guitar, discuss the string names, the string numbers. Um, we're gonna go through a couple of little uh, chord riffs, and then I'm gonna give you a little finger exercise to get your fingers moving. So let's get started. Now, assuming you've already got your guitar, let's talk about a couple of accessories that you might wanna get. Uh, first off, you're gonna need some picks. Uh, next, you want to get a, get a strap of con some kind. This is a Ernie Ball strap. I think they're about eight or nine dollars. Um, they work great. I'd recommend getting some sort of tuner. Um, this is like a little clip-on tuner. Goes right on top of the top of the headstock. You can just clip it on there and and tune it up. Um, they also make uh, some foot pedal tuners and even little standalone tuners that you can plug stuff into. Um, what's really nice right now is if you've got a mobile phone or even a computer, there's applications you can download on your phone uh, that will have a free tuner with them, like Fender or Gibson. A few other people have uh, free tuners. And then some of those uh, applications will even have a metronome built into the program. Next, if you're plugging into an amp, you're gonna need a cable of some sort. Probably start with something about 10 feet. That's probably a good enough length to get started. And then in regards to an amp, um, I would you know, try some of the little practice amps. You get little 15 watt amps. Um, Fender makes a bunch. Uh, there's, there's tons of stuff out there. Um, and, and possibly if you could even borrow one from a friend to help get you started. If the guitar didn't have it already, you're gonna want like a case or a bag to keep the guitar safe. Um, cases are, uh, like a nice hard case is the best, but um, I typically use a bag when I'm just running around town because I'm not doing any heavy duty traveling. Um, and then finally, I'd recommend uh, getting a nice guitar stand of some sort. They're pretty cheap and uh, by having the guitar out, uh, you know, you're, you're gonna be a lot more likely to pick it up and play. Before we get started with the lesson, let's run through the parts of the guitar real quick. Uh, essentially, electric guitar is made up of two major pieces, the body uh, and the neck. Uh, starting with the neck, we've got the headstock uh, with the three on a side tuners, which is where the strings will attach. Uh, and then these tuners allow you to change the pitch of the string. Next thing, it's gonna run over uh, the nut right here and the nut elevates the strings off the fretboard. And then going down the neck itself, uh, this whole piece would be called the fretboard, the dark wood on this one, for instance. Uh, sometimes they're lighter. And then these metal bars, I'm going right across here, those are called the frets. Now, looking at this particular fretboard, we have dot markers on the 3rd, 5th, 7th, 9th, 12th, etc. frets. And what these are are visual uh, indications or visual cues as to where your your hand is when it's when you're playing the guitar. You can look down there and sort of find your way around a little quicker. The areas between the frets, so in between the nut and the first fret is essentially called the first fret. If somebody says, play, put your finger on the first string, first fret, you would put it in this space here on the first string. And you don't wanna have it right on the fret because it'll, it'll have a dull sound, but you wanna put it right behind. And so moving down the neck, this would be the first fret area, second fret area, third fret area, fourth fret, uh, et cetera, all the way down. Now where the, where the neck meets the, the body on this one, we've got um, our first pickup. This is essentially called the neck pickup, and this is called the bridge pickup. Now this particular guitar has two humbuckers. Lots of different guitars will have a different type of pickup called a single coil or a P90 or filter trons. Just know that the pickups are what reads the sound of the strings, by, uh, reads the vibration of the strings, and then will send that signal to the amp. So. You know, humbuckers, single coil, lots of different varieties there. Uh, we've got the pick guard. Keep the guitar from getting scratched up when you play. Uh, we've got the bridge right here. It's where the strings will go over. And then 
This very uh, bottom piece back here is called the tail piece. Um, not all guitars are going to have this, but all guitars will have this same functionality. They'll have a place where the, the strings come back and attach to the uh, guitar. So in this particular guitar, we have a tailpiece and a bridge. Uh, some guitars will have a whammy bar, uh, and that will be set up differently. Down here on the guitar, we've got a pickup selector switch that'll let you switch between these two pickups and get you know, different combinations of sounds. And then on this particular Gibson, we have two volume controls and two tone controls down here, which allow you to individually uh, shape the sound of these pickups. And then um, finally on the top, we have uh, the input jack, which is where the cable would plug in before it ran out to the amp. Um, and then flipping over to the back, let's talk about these little buttons right here. This is the strap pins. So we've got one here, and then on this particular guitar, we've got one right in the very back. So when you're wearing a strap, it'll hang really balanced and evenly. Let's talk about string names and string numbers really quick. Uh, the guitar in a standard tuning is tuned E, A, D, G, B, E. On the top, we have the low E string, which is the sixth string. And then on the bottom here, we have the high E string, which is the first string. So it goes six, five, four, three, two, one. Uh, and this, this low string here is referred to as the low E string while this string down here is referred to as the high E string. It may seem counterintuitive because the low string's up top here, but know that it refers to the pitch of the string. So the low E, and then the high E. Let's get you going with a couple of chords. Now, these are both gonna be one finger chords, little power chords, uh, and real easy to do, and it's only gonna involve two strings. So for the first one, it's gonna be an E5, we're gonna take our first finger and we're gonna put it on the fifth string, so that's the second one down, and we're gonna put it on the second fret. And now with your pick in hand, it's sort of like an extension of your, your first finger, you're gonna take it and place it on the sixth string, and what you wanna do is just play those two low strings, the sixth and fifth string, and it will sound like this. Nice beefy power chord. Try it with me. First finger, fifth string, second fret. Right there. Then your pick. Place it on the sixth string, and then you're gonna play the sixth and fifth string. And that is an E5 power chord. Now, we're gonna do one next called an A5, and it's also a power chord, and it's just gonna be moving your finger one string down. So we're starting on the fifth string, second fret. Now we're moving to the fourth string, set, second fret. So you can see where I'm, I'm one string down now on the fourth string. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the pick and we're gonna put it right above the fifth string, which will be the second string down, and we're, we're gonna play the fifth and fourth strings only. So we're gonna play the open fifth string, and then the fourth string, which is where your first finger is. And it's gonna sound like this. So let's try those two together. We're just gonna use our one finger and the, the two strings. So we're gonna go to E. So let's go ahead and get your finger there and I'll count that down. One, two, three, four. Let's try that again. One, two, three, four. Now let's drop the finger down one string. So we're going to the fourth string, second fret. And then let's play that A chord. Ready? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One more time. One, two, three, four. Now, once you have that mastered, I'm gonna introduce one more little technique. Let's start with our first finger 
on the fifth string, second fret, like our E chord, and we're gonna look to introduce our second finger onto the sixth string, third fret. And we're gonna play something that sounds like this. So all I'm doing is lowering my second finger and placing it on the sixth string, third fret. Listen to that again. Now we're gonna take that same shape, that same technique, and we're gonna drop it one string down. So we'll have our first finger on the fourth string, second fret, and we're gonna put our second finger on the fifth string, third fret. But first we're gonna start with it off. So let's try that. Should sound like this. Let's try it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, once you get those two movements down with the first finger and dropping the second string back, uh, second finger onto the uh, the string below it, you can put those two pieces together and kind of get a bluesy uh, kind of vibe. So, this is what you should be working towards, and I'm just gonna play it slow. One, two, three, four. <laughs> And what we want to do next is get the fingers moving on the fretboard. So let's do a quick little finger exercise just on the uh, the two high strings so you can get used to placing your fingers on the fretboard, you know, get your picking hand all synced up. Uh, it's a real simple exercise. We're going to be playing an open string and then first finger, first fret, and third finger, third fret. So you don't need to know what the names are. Just this is getting you used to having your fingers on the guitar. Uh, and you can use this anywhere on the guitar. You can you can make up your own sort of patterns and get used to playing. So let's uh, hear what that would sound like. And I'm going to do each one of these notes will be a whole note. So it'd be one, two, three, four. Open two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Third two, three, four. And then I would repeat that on the B string, which is gonna be the second string here, second from the bottom. So that would sound like one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Three, two, three, four. And now over time, you can take these exercises, you can do them on all the strings up and down the neck, but let's try to run the first string and the second string together just, just for now. So what I'm gonna do is play it open, then one and three, and then open on the second string, and then one and three. So here's how that would sound. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Three, two, three, four. Open, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Three, two, three, four. So take that exercise, uh, try it on some different strings. You can even, you can do open and five and seven. Just get used to playing the guitar. Well, thanks for watching that quick tutorial. I hope you got something out of it. We discussed uh, some good accessories to have, the different parts of the guitar, string names, string numbers, and then I showed you a couple of power chords uh, and a couple of finger exercises to do. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and please like and subscribe. Uh, if we get a thousand subscribers, we can use this to uh, monetize some free lessons for beginners and get them into some cheap instruments. Uh, all that will be down below, but if you'd like to check out the Patreon, 
Uh, you can learn more about it there, and I will have that flashing on the screen right now. So, thanks for watching, and hope to see you in the next video.